Oh boy, that was such a nice day yesterday. You know, we got to um, spend the, oh, actually, do I even have a low? I guess my low was the fact that um, it actually was kind of dismal out yesterday. I mean, there were some instances where the weather looked kind of nice, but for the most part, we just got nothing but rain and rain and rain. So, that, that's a bit of a downer. But, it's fine. You know, I got to, my high was I got to spend the afternoon with my folks and my nephews. Got to see my nephews yesterday. I mean, today was all about, you know, mom or in the case of my nephew's grandma. So, let's just say grandma was having a good day that day. It was nice. Um... I already told you that I got her flowers and chocolate, but my act of kindness was, okay, remember how I said I'm friends with like a lot of moms? And I do mean a lot of moms on Facebook. Literally, I started wishing people, wishing mothers that I knew a happy Mother's Day, literally when the clock struck midnight on Mother's Day. Like when Mother's Day began, that is. It was after like 10, it was like 10.30 at night last night when I finally got to like the last mom I could think of to wish a happy Mother's Day. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I did it throughout the entire, I mean, I did it, you know, in spurts, whatever. You know, do like a bunch here. You know, a few you can think of here. The, and, you know, so on and so forth. But, I probably wish like, over a hundred plus moms that I knew whether they're like my generation or the previous generation before or even the previous generation, like a few grandmas too. Like, I friends a lot of moms. And so, I was busy. Very busy. But it was worth it because in the end, it's, it's, it's Mom's Day yesterday. It's what's called the Mother's Day. And I know I talked a little bit about yesterday how by all accounts, technically it is one of those really commercialized holidays, kind of like what Christmas has become. But, it doesn't, I mean, knowing that, it's actually, I actually got that sort of knowledge from uh, Andrew Zimmern, who, he actually doesn't like Mother's Day, or Father's Day for that matter. Not that he's anti-mom or anti-death, I mean, his wife is a mom, you know, the mother of his son is a mom, you know, um, uh, you know, he had a mom, he had a grandma, so, he's not anti-mom, it's just, he struggles with, um, his own mental health problems, oh, he used to be in the, he, if you don't know anything about Andrew Zimmern, he used to be, like, a horrible alcoholic and, you know, drug addict, and the month of May is, like, National Mental Health Awareness Month, and so, you know, the fact that you have Mother's Day, which, yeah, by all accounts, is commercialized, and the fact that both his mother and his grandmother have, you know, passed a long time ago, and you have a month like this, it doesn't really suit right with him, you know? I can understand that, for sure. You know, some people like to associate certain times of the year with good things, and other people like to associate that same time of year with bad things. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it was just, you know, as long as it doesn't, like, create an entire downer on everyone else, it's fine. Like, let's say, I mean, I mentioned how, like, Easter is one of my all-time favorite holidays. Yet, for whatever reason, I meet someone who, just for whatever reason, does not like, you know, the month of April. Which, so which usually Easter falls into. I mean, yeah, sometimes Easter can be March, but, you know, it, um, but, you know, for the most part, it, you know, lands in April. And so, if for whatever reason they hate the month of April, but they're definitely, you know, showing that hatred of that month in a way that's not ruining everyone else's day, it's, it's fine. You know, so, stuff like that. So, anyway, good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. It is One Piece Manga Chapter Time. Yes. Wait a long.
Wait a good two weeks for this. Seriously, it felt as if like Chapter 1011 just came after a break, only for there to be a break immediately afterwards. What can you do? So, without further ado, let's begin. I gotta reach down there. Ah. Oh, uh, okay. One Piece Chapter 1012. Itch. That, that's the name of the title. Itch. Like I T C H. Itch. Mm. What about that title? This isn't really suit right with me. Maybe it'll be going for him soon. Ah, huh. That's right, it is. Because, um, looks like the chapter starts off with the vassals. You know. Oh. That's very beautiful. Kiku and Izo are having a moment. They're brother and sister, after all. Well, if you want to be technical, they're both brother and brother. You know, Okiku identifies as a woman. But. Anyway. You know, Kiku is telling Izo how much her heart sank, if you will. After, you know, Izo left Wano with the, with the Odin to join the White Beard Pirates way back when. That's very touching. We never get mo. You know, I mean, I know we get moments like this in One Piece eventually, but that's actually very touching. I mean, by all accounts, I mean, here's the thing. Kiku was one of the people that was sent into the future. So, Kiku barely aged, you know, any at all. Meanwhile, Izo is like 20 years older than he would have been, as he remained, as he remained the present. So, to say it's been a very long time since they've seen each other, it's, that's no understatement. I like that, okay, let's see. Um, oh, okay. I said, um, the word itch would present itself, and Kiku says, I'm, uh, I said, um, you know, because remember, Kiku lost her arm earlier, and she said, it's merely an itch. That is the greatest Black Knight reference ever, by the way. Anyway, um, okay. <laughs> and he just says, you're doing well enough to tease me, I'll take that as a good sign. I like that. Okay. Alright. It appears as if Otis slowly but surely separating the vassals so they get their respective quote-unquote fight in. I mean, yeah, they did a great job fighting Kaido, but because, you know, you have, um, Inarashi fighting Jack, you have, um, you have Raizo fighting Fukurukuju. So, one by one, the vassals are slowly getting separated. It looks like Kiku is going after Kanjo, which makes sense. Because, you know, the whole fake-out death fake Odin thing. Plus, Oda chose to have Kiku and Kanjo's first fight off screen, and it appeared obviously that Kiku won. So it looks like we'll actually get a proper fight this time. Which, you know, makes sense. Plus, honestly, when Kiku becomes uh, um, Kiku of the Falling Snow, like, she is a beast. I am not even kidding. So it'll be very fun to see. Oh. It looks like Nekomamushi learned about uh, Pedro's killer, which... Man. Pedro's death was a long time ago for me. Like, it happened way back on Whole Cake Island. That was like... It's gotta be at least two and a half years in real time since that happened. Gosh. It may even be like... It might even be like three years. Almost four. My gosh, this story's great. Um, okay. So it looks like Nekomamushi's gonna fight Parasparo, which, you know what? I'm all for it. I mean, Parasparo's been getting away with beating other minks, because obviously Pedro died. You know, um, Carrot got beat down. So, yeah, it does, it does sort of make sense, okay? Huh. Yeah, I'm telling everyone else there. Oh, yeah, I'm telling gonna make a, uh, make a little decoy moment else there. <laughs> it looks like a sack of, like, 
it's like a sack on top of like a bigger sack of like a little thing on top, and that's supposed to be from an old sack. Okay. That'll totally work. Alright. Let me see. Alright. It looks like Yamato wants to head up where Luffy is to fight Kaido, which you know what? Makes sense. Honestly, Yamato is just one of those characters who as soon as you know Yamato arrived, they were they were immediately fan favorite. So much of a fan favorite that in the recent World Top 100 poll, when you know the world had an opportunity to vote for their favorite One Piece characters, in the Top 100, Yamato, being as new of a character as she is, was number 11. Think about that. One Piece features over a thousand characters throughout its entire run. Yamato is just a recent addition to this wide range of a cast, and she got number 11. She just barely missed out on the top 10. That is impressive, if I ever saw it. I'll put a link, I'm gonna see if I can find a link to where the uh, top 100 poll is. Actually, um, Grand Line Review did a, um, the, I'll, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Moment is reading Owen's Journal. Holy cow. In mere moments, Moment Osuke is going to learn what his father did when he was on the Roger part. He will therefore become the most knowledgeable being in the series. Or possibly. I mean, Momonosuke is only a kid. Who knows how much he's actually... I mean, who knows how much of this he's actually going to be able to grasp. Well, kids are smarter than grasp. Well, maybe. Okay. Why is Sanji carrying a cross? The cross is... Zoro and bandages? Hold on, what happened? Okay, it looks like the father law and Zoro appeared right in front of Sanji and Sanji Kesha. Okay. Sanji, what did. Because at this point, in law, I mean, law's a doctor, so he would know this. Zoro's probably broken like 20 or 30 bones. But, you know, as long as you give him. Like, as long as you give him splints, keep head facing up. Obviously, make sure he's conscious and breathing. You know, we should be fine. So, what did you do to get yourself in this situation? Fuck Kaido Ky and Big Mom. And so I'm just like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. And so I'm just like, I trust Luke is okay out there. And so I was like, it seemed like he figured something out. He's gonna win. And then Sanji says, I already knew you would. See, that is the sort of this awesomeness about this, about the Straw Hat crew. They all have undying faith in Luffy. And Luffy has undying faith in them. Like, this is why, I'll just say this right now, the Straw Hats are probably one of the greatest examples of family you're ever going to find in fiction. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's probably a few greater. I mean, I can think of that. I can think of the fish right now from the film Mocking Bird, but that's beside the point. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, it looks like... Okay, when the rain essentially began, Sanji and everyone else in the strike crew began on the performance floor. Sanji has been, like, everywhere. Got captured by Black Maria, looking for, you know, the vassals, and looking for Momonosuke. Well, Zoro is now heading back to essentially where he's starting. Okay, I think I'm beginning to see what kind of chapter this is, but let's keep going. Okay. Looks like we're back to Big Mom, Page 1, OT, now I'm going to the rest. Oh. Okay. I like, I love it. Nami doesn't want to fight Big Mom, so, hey, OT, let's team up. I'll destroy you. Hey, Big Mom, what's Sam? No, I'll destroy you. It's like she's trying to do the enemy of my enemy is my friend thing. I love it. Oh, no. Not the lion, dog. Why? Oh. Why, old T? Sabbath is actually kind of like old T, but you do that too. That ain't cool. And you kick Tama when she's down. How dare you? Do such a thing. What? Is that a drawing here? 
looks like Oda forgot to draw Ulti with her mask on. Oh. So that's what Ulti's mouth looks like. I'm sure it's going to be fixed in the actual volume release. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nami said all she can stand, and she can stand no more. That is awesome. This is what we waited for Nami to do. This, Nami's like, I'm going to stay here and crush her. She's talking about Ulti. I'm like, dude, this is what all One Piece fans have been waiting to see for Nami in the new world for a long time. Remember I mentioned that out of the top 100, you know, you know, the top 100 favorite One Piece characters, like the world guys about everything? Nami was number three. This is why Nami was number three. Okay? This is why. Okay? So, yeah. This is great. I love this chapter. And I said I figured out what kind of chapter this is. I'll explain. See, at this point, we've sort of hit a wall in terms of how everything's going. This is Oda essentially taking the game board, removing all of the pieces off of the game board, and rearranging them just right so you keep your audience on your toes, you keep the story visually engaging, and we legitimately do not know what, and keep it fresh and interesting. I. I love this. This is actually the kind of chapter I really like. I really wish we got more of these, but then again, One Piece would go on even longer. And don't get me wrong, I don't want One Piece to end, but it's got to happen at some point, right? Anyway, this chapter was great. I think I'm ready to get this week started. Let's rock. Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. I'm turning into you. I'm very humbled in this video for all of you guys watching. Don't forget to be a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Remember, you guys are talking to everyone's going to be here to lend an ear. Always back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.